Hello everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. Now optimizing your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC for the speed and multitasking is essential. And emptying the RAM cache improves the system speed and responsiveness. Now let me tell you, the RAM cache, also known as the cache memory, temporarily stores frequently requested data to speed up the operation and increase overall efficiency. However, this cache may get clogged over time possibly resulting in system slowdown or memory problems. And if you will bring up the task manager by making a right click on the taskbar, choose task manager. Then from the left hand side, if you click on performance, go to memory. At the bottom here, you will find the cache here and approx 3.9 gigabyte of memory has been cached. That's huge. And so we are not able to use the full RAM over here. Now in order to clear it, you have two different options. Either you can do it manually or you can also set to automatically. I will be sharing both the methods. So either you can clear the cache manually or you can also set automatically where it will be automatically clearing the RAM cache on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. So if you want to clear the cache manually whenever you want to, then I will be sharing this Microsoft website link. And it's a very good tool by the name RAM map. So come to this website. And here you have to click on download RAM map. And it's a small file, so it will be quickly downloaded in a zip file. So open the downloaded folder. Right click on the RAM map zip file. Click on extract all. Click on extract. And once it will be extracted, you will be getting this kind of page here. So here you have to look for RAM map 64.exe, the application file. Just make a right click on it. And click run as admin. Click on yes. And this kind of RAM map box will be up. Now here what you have to do, it's very simple. Once you have downloaded this, you have installed it. In order to clear the cache, from the RAM map box, you have to click on empty. And then from the suggestion, you will have to click on empty standby list. Now in order to see the changes that how exactly it work, you can also bring up the task manager, come to the memory section. And here you will find your cache memory. And one thing what you have to notice, as soon as I click on empty standby list, now you will see the cache memory has been reduced from 3.8 gigabyte to approx 100 MB. So very quickly you have cleared the cache. Now probably within few minutes only or probably in an hour, the cache memory will be increased again and then you have to clear it again. So the manual work probably you have to do once in a day or twice or thrice in a week. If you are satisfied with this method, then you can clear it manually. If not, then in the next method, we will be creating the task or clearing the RAM cache automatically. And how that will work? Let me show you. Again, I will be leaving the link in the description. You will have to come to this page. Then you have to click on download empty standby list.exe. And this file will be quickly downloaded. Now, once it gets downloaded, next what you have to do, click on your Windows search, type here task scheduler. And from the suggestion, you have to click on task scheduler and you will come to this kind of page. And here from the right hand side, you have to click on create task. In the name, uh, you can name the task so that you can easily remember it. Like I can name it RAM cache cleaner. All right, so that I can easily remember that why I created this task. And in future, if I have to manage it, I can easily look for it and manage it. Once you have given the name, then below you'll find change user or group. Click on it. Click on advanced. Click on find now. And below you will be getting some kind of suggestions. So you will have to look for the system here. And once you get the system, you will have to click on it and then click on OK. Click on OK again. Below you will find an option run with highest privileges. You will have to check this option. Then below configure for you will have to click on the drop down and choose it to Windows 10 if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you are using the lower version, then you can go with Windows 7 as well. I am using Windows 11, so I will choose Windows 10 here. Then from the top menu option, you will have to click on Triggers. Click on New. Now it will ask you that how frequently you want to run this task. So here below in the Advanced setting, you will have to check this option that says Repeat Task Every. Then from the drop down, you have to choose the time duration that how frequently you want to clear the RAM cache. So either you can go with one hour, 30 minute, 15 minute, 10 minute or five minute, whatever you want to choose, select from here. 
Then on the right side, it says for a duration of one day. No, we don't want that. So I will choose here indefinitely. That means that it will never expire. Then below it says enable. Make sure this option has been checked. And then you will have to click on OK. Once done, from the top menu option, you will have to click on actions. So here it will ask you that which program exactly you want to run. So click on browse and locate to the place where you have downloaded that empty standby list. Select it and click on open. Click on OK. Click on OK. And now you are all done. So this time if I come to the task scheduler library and look for the RAM cache. So you will find here the RAM cache has been automatically created here. The status is ready and it shows you that how frequently it will be running here. Now in future if you want to cancel it, if you want to close it, then you can come to the task scheduler only. You can make a right click on it. You can end it or you can delete it this task or you can disable it. All right, so now you have successfully created the task scheduler to clear the RAM cache automatically and it will be deleting all the RAM cache automatically within 15 minutes. And so you will be getting the enough memory and will be fixing many kind of Windows problem. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video, found the information useful. If yes, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.